What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to make imported objects from the asset library editable if they aren't already. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you might have run into this issue before, and we're gonna use the Blender human base meshes as kind of an example model here. But if you've ever tried to bring in models from the asset library and you haven't been able to actually edit them, this is why. And so let's go ahead and let's drag in um, the, let's go with the stylized head or maybe the regular head right here. So if you bring this model in, what you might've noticed is when you bring this in, I'm gonna rotate it so it's facing the camera, but you might've noticed that sometimes when you import models from the asset library, you can't actually tab into edit mode and edit them, right? So if I try to tab in here, this isn't working. So the reason for this is because of an import setting that we need to adjust when we first bring the model in. So I'm gonna delete this out and we're gonna do this again. So when we drag this into our model like this, notice how it pops up this little button right here or this little pop-up that says add collection. Well, at the bottom of add collection, you can come in here and uncheck the box for instance. And so when you uncheck the box for instance, notice what that does is this brings this in with the actual geometry in here that you can edit. So now I can tab in here, I can make adjustments, other things like that. All right, and so let's say that you dragged a copy of this model into the space and you forgot to uncheck the box for instance, and you clicked off of it like this. Well, notice um, now you can't really get that back, right? You can't like tap a key on your keyboard to get the menu, menu back usually or anything like that. But what you can do is you can actually, with your object selected, go up to object, apply, and you can go to the option for make instances real. And so if you do that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna take this object and it's gonna convert it to a geometry that you can actually edit, right? So notice how now I can come in here, I can select the different vertices, I can move them around, do whatever I want with those. Now, the only downside to this is this one that we brought in over here where we just unchecked the box, notice how it kept it in a collection up here. Well, these just kind of got dropped in as individual parts and pieces over here in your outliner. That's pretty easy to fix. You can just go in here and just add a new collection and then just do a shift click, drag them all into this collection right here. Um, but just note that this will um, put these all in here as kind of the individual geometry over here. All right, so I'm going to link to a couple other quick fixes on this page for other issues people have had in Blender. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.